What up, what up, what up, people? It's a beautiful Friday. It's a beautiful Friday today. And um, I gotta head to the bank, deposit some money. Then I'm off to the office to do my daily prospect thing. So, this morning at the gym, uh, I was listening to Rich Dad's book with Donald Trump. It's called why we want you to be rich now I know a bunch of you sissy emotional overly emotional people are gonna say Donald Trump listen I don't care about your political ideologies all right despite what you think the man is smart and he comes from a smart background and he's well connected so he knows a thing or two okay promise you that but anyway you a whole dingling you're a whole dingling. You're a whole dingling. Stupid. Anyway, so they were speaking about various things, which is, you know, I, I listened to the audiobook before. I started listening to it again just because I'm ready to grind and get my mind focused to put myself in position to, to take to take advantage of everything that's going on going on around us, you know. Um but anyway, I wanted to touch on, on a key thing that they were talking about in the audiobook. And they mentioned in the audiobook that our two best investments is our money and our time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Our two best investments is our is our mind and our time. Because in order to even get the money, our mind has to be right and focused on the right things, as well as our time. Our time has to be invested in the right places to reap a positive return. So our mind and our time. I want to speak on a few things that come to mind, in my mind, to kind of give to you guys real quick, right? So when it comes to your time, Actually, I would like to say that mind and time is kind of interchangeable. It's 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 directly correlated with one another. And I say that because, you know, where you put your mind is also where you put your time. Where you put your time is also where your mind is at. So it kind of goes hand in hand. And he, you know, Robert Kiyosaki, he speaks on the the four quadrants. If you're not familiar with it, it's the E, the S, the B, the I. And I was also thinking about it yesterday in terms of I'm an S, I'm self-employed. I've been self-employed for the last, next month I made eight years being self-employed in this business. And I was thinking about it, reviewing, you know, where I've been so far. And I've come to the conclusion that, you know, I don't want to be in a position where I have to conti continuously work, work, work to provide an income for myself. If I'm not working in my real estate business, dressed up, suited up, professional, ready to go, I'm not going to produce. I am not going to receive. I'm not going to be able to make business happen if I'm not actively engaged in business every day. And I don't want to live my life where I have to be constantly prospecting or making phone calls. And of course, I understand that you can get to a degree where you could build your, your book of business to a thousand or 10,000 names and, you know, all these things. So I understand there, there are things that, that can be done, of course. I'm just saying that overall, you know, I believe that part of being a millionaire, I see myself as a millionaire, even though I'm not a millionaire yet. Part of being a millionaire is having a long term mindset regarding money time energy everything having a long-term mindset in your relationships and your friendships everything right and for me looking at the long-term mindset of of being a self-employed person that's not something i want to do continuously down the road and yesterday well this week i've basically been thinking about what type of business or structure or something am i going to create that's going to allow me to leverage myself and scale myself to not have to work continuously. I could become a real estate broker. I could 
uh, recruit agents underneath my name and create my own office you know so there are different things that can be done I'm just kind of looking actually I need to maybe maybe more so consider that idea since I've been in the field all this time but that's that's just an example of using your mind and using your time usually you know not usually I've, I've distanced myself from that but in the morning sometimes a lot of times I end up listening to rap music or listening to music to try to get me amped up and stuff like that but lately it's either doing a video or it's going to be doing a video or it's going to be listening to audiobooks to further develop my mind and get myself to think you know most people do not think most people do not learn or educate themselves or advance themselves in ways to add to their lives most people, most people do not do these things so when I'm doing things, naturally I feel that when you're doing things that put you aside from the rest of the, the population, uh, it's a benefit. But either way, mind and time. You know, using my time to further my mind to think better ideas, to think more clearly, to get a better understanding of the direction I want to go in, is imperative. And I encourage you, I say all these things not to say, well one, it's like a learning lesson for me. It's a constant, god dang, in New York City ditches. I say what I say not only to kind of, uh, I say what I say because it helps reinforce and reminds me and teach, reteaches me within me to uh, just get a better understanding of these things when I teach it to you folks, you know, which is why I like doing these videos. I like to, I like to teach. I, I realize I like to teach. But anyway, that's just some real quick thoughts on mind and time. And I'm going to further delve into it as I'm able to do so later when I get to pull over and actually focus on you guys. But that's just some things that come, come to mind. Mind and time. Where are you putting your mind? Where are you putting your time? And it's very imperative right now because things are changing. We have to be on the up and up and we have to be vigilant. So that's my video for that. Have a great day. We're going to talk soon.